Hey, good morning. I'm here at the USS Arizona Memorial Gardens out with Salt River Pima Maricopa Indian Community. And I was invited to come and do a little vlog out here. And so just barely arrived and had a brief moment to walk through. And I start to kind of feel the reverence of this place. I know that December 7, 1941 was a, a world changing event um, that's affected my life in various various ways. I'm, I'm a veteran and and so there's something special here to see all these these light poles that represent people that have that were killed there and then also the the ones where there isn't a light pole where there were their survivors that happened and so this is a neat neat thing I think Salt River's doing and so it's fun experiencing this and starting to look and understand more of what this is. Hi, I'm Jason Kirby. I'm the project manager on the USS Arizona Memorial. Uh, work for the community obviously. We started this project about a, a year and one month ago. So construction was very quick. Um, we built the entire project in six months. The whole park is the outside outline of the Arizona. So when you're walking through the park, you're actually inside of the Arizona, which I think is really cool. Um, the columns represent each sailor Marine on the, on the ship. Uh, the tall columns are ones that were killed in action that day. And the shorter were the survivors. So at night when we illuminate it, so it's pretty moving to see kind of the carnage of that day. My name is Mike Crandall. I work for Valley Rand Construction. I'm the product superintendent. Um, we started this project in August and we have been able to complete it within six months. We've had a lot of challenges out here, um, but uh, with the team, it's just not me. It was everybody that was involved. The support from the community, the support from my company. Um, it's just been a great project. I mean, we the finishes that we have, J2 design that designed this um, with all the finishes are phenomenal. Um, the quality of work that's here is top notch. I mean, it's just been a pleasure working on this product. It's a very meaningful project for me. I'm a vet of the US Air Force, um, as well as others that were working here on the project and have family members that were a part of what had happened at Pearl Harbor. And so very meaningful, very sobering when you think about it. And, don't really necessarily get to enjoy it all until you're done building it, but it's been a phenomenal project. My name is Leroy Little, and I work for the Salt River Pima Maricopa Indian Community and in the uh, Engineer Construction Services. I'm one of the project managers, and how I helped on this project was just uh, helping Jason Kirby, who's the senior project manager, assisting him and all of the practical uh, part of the project. So. Well, my name is Maureen Aldrich, and I am with the tourism division of the Salt River Pima Maricopa Indian Community. It's actually called Discover Salt River. So now that this beautiful USS Arizona Memorial Gardens at Salt River is opened, it is our job in the tourism division to promote it to the masses and to let people know that it's this beautiful location here that you can come. It's actually located within the Talking Stick Entertainment District right here in the Salt River Indian Community. Well, I'm a history buff, so I really like the history of the relic and everything. Being the first memorial is really cool. So I think it's a bringing like some notice is something that most people didn't even know existed. Uh, I mean, everybody knows the memorial right there. It's in Pearl Harbor today. It's been there since the 60s, but this was the first one for a whole decade in the 50s. And this is probably one of the first times where we actually take uh, like world history, that U.S. history, you know, like the Pearl Harbor and actually put it on native indigenous lands, you know, and, and it's actually, you know, uh, a lot of Native Americans, indigenous people per capita have served in the, in the armed forces, you know, so we're taking that, kind of owning that too, you know, so by taking a, a relic from the past and saying, you know, putting it here and paying homage to it and having it open to, you know, to everybody. You know? Right. We're fellow 12 Bravos combat engineers, so we've been singing cadence all day. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> yeah. My boy's in the Air Force as well, and he was in Afghanistan, now he's in Iraq. Um, you know, when I look at this project and I look at how it can definitely impact those that can't afford to go to Hawaii and they can come here stateside and afford to come here and see that their family members are actually honored. Um, it was an honor to do that myself, to honor the ones that we lost in Pearl Harbor. It's just, just a phenomenal project. Just being able to salvage that piece so there is history to it, that it wasn't just sitting, um, kind of got lost. And um, one of the other, one of the, uh, issue, not an issue, but a kind of challenge with the project was telling the story. Because I'll be honest, like some of the younger generation just, they don't know. They don't, they don't know the history. So they, some of them like barely even know that we were at World War II, like with Japan, you know. So that kind of telling the story so that it kind of lives on is pretty cool in my opinion. Good morning. You know, yet 
this is going to be amazing, right? I mean, like you needed any other reason to come down here. This right here is not only going to bring history to uh, not only our valley, but to the whole community when you think about what this is going to bring. I'm talking about the piece of the USS Arizona, which was brought here to this community, but to share for all. And that's, I think, the most important part. I want to bring in President and Vice President here of the Salt River, Pima, Maricopa Indian community, and Martin Javier, who's going to be the president. This means so much to the community. Why, why would you say this is going to touch so many people? Uh, you're here in the Salt River, Pima, Maricopa Indian community. You're actually in what is called the USS Arizona Memorial Gardens. Uh, it's actually within the footprint of the Salt River Fields uh, baseball stadium. We're very blessed to have it. And all we're trying to do is we're trying to bring our veterans together and, and help them understand and help kids understand where, what, what veterans have done for this community and for, for this country. And hopefully bring veterans together and not, not forget the sacrifices that they did. The community had a lot of help in getting this accomplished. And um, again, it's just a reflection on honoring our veterans and those individuals that are out there. Um, and if you come here, you'll see a listing of those that donated to help us uh, accomplish uh, this garden here. And so there's a lot of thanks and gratitude to a lot of people that need to be acknowledged. And hopefully those that come will take time to see who they are written on one of the uh, monuments that are here. But um, I, I want to just personally thank our vice president. You kind of asked the question, how does it make him feel as, as a veteran? And I, I really look at our vice president and the members of our post as doing this again, not, not only for themselves, but it was something they felt strongly about in getting this piece here to honor all veterans. And that's the important thing. And again, the opportunity that we have to share with others that they can come here and just feel of how, it, how I just feel now. It's just humbling to be here and to reflect, to be here to reflect on maybe those that served from their family, those that maybe gave, lost their lives. And, you know, again, and looking at what's here, but at the same time, realize that we can never forget things that have happened in the past, because I've always said that, and it's been said, that we, we need to always remember our veterans and we need to praise our veterans and honor our veterans because the young ones that are coming up when conflict arises, if we don't show how we honor them, they're not gonna to wanna to serve. So we need to make sure we show how proud we are of our veterans. And I think this is one way that our group and our vice president, along with others, were able to bring this piece here to help do that. Well, in 2007, we actually went and received the flag of uh, that flew over the USS Arizona Memorial. And uh, we were the only uh, Native American and American Legion group that actually received one to this point. And then uh, we uh, were uh, given that, that flag by uh, Jose, Dr. Jose Riza. And he was one of uh, six survivors at that time. And, and uh, asked us to promise to open the flag on December 7th and remember all the veterans that have passed away and also all the civilians. So uh, what we did at that point was starting to talk about maybe get a piece, maybe bring a piece back. And so slowly uh, we, we met a gentleman named uh, uh, Mr. Newman and um, he brought out a small piece for us and then uh, we had mentioned that we're looking for something a little bit more substantial for that, for our, our community. So um, almost seven years later to the day, we um, got a call and we, with, with the, the text messaging and calling back and forth, we finally, finally got into touch with the people that, that were uh, supportive of bringing a piece here and they told us about the boathouse. I myself didn't know too much about it. We have a curator named of, uh, Thomas Jackson that actually actually had all the schematics to the ship itself. So he showed us where the boathouse was and how big that piece was. So um, when it came down to here, it came down uh, with a, a lot of fanfare from Hawaii and um, it was actually escorted out by a battleship halfway. And and um, and then when it hit, uh, San Diego, uh, that a lot of a lot of the CBs were there to unload it, and and everything was done for free to bring it here. The outlying ballards is actually the actual footprint of the USS Arizona as far as dimensions go, 
uh, the ballards actually represent uh, the individuals that were aboard the ship. And you can see, uh, again, the ones with the lights, those lights up, those light up at night, and those uh, represent those that actually lost their lives during the attack. Those others were survivors of the attack. So uh, it's, it, it's really moving to be here. Uh, I know we're here uh, during the daylight. Uh, there's actually a really different feeling when you're here at night to see these ballards light up and make you think about and see how many lives were lost during that attack. But having these pieces is, for me, is significant. And I'll just show, uh, tell a little story about what happened that made it more, is, is that when we brought it into Arizona and we put it at a, a, an area where it was closed off, there was a gentleman there that worked there. And he asked uh, the one of the, the veterans there, and he says, is, is this really the, something that I'm, um, what I think it is? And, and, and we told him, yes. So it had um, the word uh, sea bees on the side, a relic. So, uh, you know, as we were talking to the side, he took off his hat and he walked over there and he put his hand on the box and, and he put his head down and he said a little prayer. We never did ask him who who, who was in his uh, family was involved in. Was it his grandfather? Was it his uncle? We didn't know that. But it gave us a little bit more perspective on, on what this piece meant to a lot of people. And it is the biggest piece in uh, North America other than Hawaii. So we're very blessed, very blessed to do this. And all we want to do is uh, share it with, with uh, all our veteran brothers and sisters out here in Arizona and also throughout the United States whenever they come to visit in this area. As a, an Army veteran myself, Iraq 2003-2004, I personally just want to thank President and Vice President for what they're doing for me by by setting up this memorial as a veteran myself that I I did when I first walked on it this morning there I there was something that, that came to me that it was just a re, it was a reverence that I felt at this place and so I I you know thank you both from from my heart to, to do something like this um, for for Salt River for for native veterans for all veterans for those especially for those that, that gave their lives for for our freedoms and so um, it is an I've I, I just I feel there's something really really special here, and so I'm excited to 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 bring my family and help my kids. Like, look, these poles, all these poles along here. There's this represents one person, somebody's brother, somebody's dad, somebody that's that's passed on, gave their life for our freedoms, and just and this is a this is a very special special place that I've I've only been on for about 30 minutes. So thank you. Thank you both from my heart to, to do something like this. I did want to mention something that happened yesterday when we when we came and then we, we uh, were here. Um, and if you go to Honolulu and to the, the memorial there, uh, you'll see that, that uh, small globules of oil uh, come up through the water. And they call those the, the tears of the fallen. So when we came yesterday, we looked into the water and the water had a glisten on it from oil. We don't know where it came from. But it was it was something else, and I know a lot of people that that saw that had a chill down their back. But it was it was a, it was a sign to me that that said that we're doing the right thing. And Travis, thank you for your service. Thank you, sir.